Hey everybody, this is DeBorth here, and in this video I will be giving you some ideas on how you can make your own hard style effect kicks. Now effect kicks are really just what they sound like. They're your hard style kick with certain effects on them. And I'm not going to go into too much depth in this video, because really, you know, you should be playing around with different effects to get um, a unique and a cool result. Because, you know, it's just fun to play around with this kind of stuff. But I will be giving you some tips and maybe ideas that you might not necessarily think of right away on your own. Okay, so let's look at your basic level of an effect kick. So here's my normal kick, and I'm going to link it to my mixer track. And probably the most basic thing that is done with effect kicks is some kind of high pass filter with a decent resonance followed by a distortion. And you know you can play with different types of distortions, different filters, and of course the cutoff. And now you can also throw in a flanger or a chorus. or a phaser or, you know, anything else really. Um, and usually your effect, your effect kicks will have some kind of reverb on them. And you know, if you want to, you can um, play around with bit crushing And you know, just use any kind of effects you can think of and really just have fun with it. Um, let's do effector and ring modulation. You know, so you can really just do any effects and play around with them. Now another really cool thing to do is, rather than putting your effects on the finished kick, is to go back into your kick effect chain. So this is a hardcore kick, but the sound design techniques in hardstyle and hardcore are very similar, at least, uh, at least the way I do it. So you can hear, here's the hardcore kick. And so instead of you know, doing that filter on the final kick followed by distortion. I'm going to put this equalizer on at the original effects chain of the kick project. So you'll hear it'll give you a really crunchy sound because of all the distortions afterwards. So that's something you can do. You could do it that drastically, or you could even just kind of change the EQ curves that you used. And yeah. Now, if you really want to change the sound of your kick, and you want to do it, um, I'm going to link this to a new kick track and you want to do it afterwards rather than going back into the original kick chain. You know, you can think of it as if you're making a whole new kick. So you can do all the different sound design techniques that you use to make a kick from scratch and just do it um, afterwards. So, you know, you can do EQ, distortion, uh, EQ, distortion, 
and you know you can really play with the curves and all that. to get some cool effect sounds. But yeah, really just uh, play around with effects, uh, try different things out, and you know, just have fun with it, and eventually you'll get a really cool, unique sound that you want to use in your track. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.